Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. I want to just give a shout out to the internet out there. Thank you guys so much for all the support and the 17,000 plus views on my first video plus the 670 subscribers now. Um, almost at a thousand, which I'm you know, pretty excited about and just keep getting more and more views on all these videos helping to spread global awareness on X and Y chromosomal variations. Um, for those of you that don't know or that are just tuning into this video, my name is Ryan Briganti. I was born with um, 47XXY. It's also known as Klinefelter syndrome. Um, I was born with two X's and one Y chromosome. So most people out there are born with, most females are born with two X's and most men are born with XY. And so I just have an extra X chromosome. So, uh, big deal, so what, right? Well, unfortunately, there's all these stigmatisms out there and all these uneducated people, doctors and geneticists out there um, that ha speak a very negative, um, speak very negatively about our syndrome and about who we are as people. Um, maybe it's because of the lack of education out there. Or I'm not really entirely too sure what all that stuff is, but one of the biggest things that I've learned about the internet and one of the big other things I've learned from a lot of mothers I've talked to is that when they get diagnosed in utero um, or when their son gets diagnosed at an early stage in their life, the parents go into this like fetal position 90% um, of the time because the doctors are uneducated on the current information about who we are as people. Uh, they say that, you know, we're not going to have any chance at life that abortion is actually preferred or a better method because um, we're not going to be able to live alone or on our own. We're not going to be able to have a job or hold a sustainable career within society. Um, we're going to be socially outcasted. Um, all these other negative things. And one of the biggest problems is Google. When you guys go onto Google and you Google Kleinfelter syndrome, there's a photo that the Mayo Clinic pops up and it's an illustration of what it looks like to have Klinefelter syndrome and then there's these bullet points on what Klinefelter syndrome is um, and there's nothing talked about that it's on a spectrum um, from one to a hundred and so I just wanted to put the camera down right now and show you guys something so there's all these stigmati stigmatizations and all these stigmas about Klinefelter syndrome and who we are as people and all these other things. And so, my name's Ryan, I'm 32 years old. I was born with an extra X chromosome and this is who I am. So, I'll bring up the camera a little closer. I might have a little glidocomastia, which is a, a symptom. It's basically male breast enlargement is what it means. Um, some guys will get fatty tissue here. It will be bigger than this or some guys have it smaller. It's uh, on that spectrum um, I'll, Also, I'll step back a little bit all of our weight goes to our stomach So I've got you know most of my weight goes here in this in, the, in this part of my body whether it's gonna be my love candles or my stomach um, But I think one of the biggest things on how you fight this kind of weight is and also how we fight like the depression and the anxiety of, of life in general. What, what Rocco? What, I'm making a YouTube video and you're live bud, you're on YouTube, you know that? Um, so one of the things that to fight all that is exercise. Um, getting outside, working out, going for a walk, going for a run, hanging out with the family, going to the park. Whatever your type of exercise is, is really important. Um, it boosts that mental state in your mind and it it helps you with all those negativities that you have going on in your life and um, so I just wanted to make a video and show you guys that this is who I am I don't mind taking my shirt off I have no problem um, being myself I was told at nine years old that I had an extra X chromosome and at nine you don't really know what that means but I knew I was different and I've been open-minded about having XXY my whole entire life and I think I just I'm now starting to touch the surface with these YouTube videos and helping to establish and create a worldwide community. Um, I've had people reach out from Italy, Spain, the Netherlands, Holland, Scotland, 
uh, New Zealand, Australia, um, India, the United States, Mexico, Argentina, um, Canada, let's see, where else, where else am I forgetting? Um, and a couple of countries in Southeast Asia and here in the United States. So it's been awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully we can help start to even create a bigger worldwide community and help educate the masses, the general public out there about what X and Y chromosomal variations are. Um, and yeah, so hope all is well and subscribe, smash that like button like Luke would uh, say if you watched the video with me and Luke. If you haven't watched it, I definitely, definitely recommend checking it out. Um, he's an 11 year old kid that knows about his XXY and like stands up proud. Um, he has his challenges just like everybody else, but he's also just this awesome 11 year old. So thank you guys, continue to watch, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.